Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. So I'm having trouble with my A-Card RTX 3060 Ti rig. Got Hive OS on it, got it on a USB flash drive, but it's been giving me a lot of errors. It's rebooting on its own. Um, it's sometimes it's showing me the hash rate, sometimes it's not. Sometimes the fans aren't uh, reporting in. Uh, just a lot of trouble. And I really wanted to just do a fresh install. Now, of course, I went to my rig, uh, took one of my little flashlights, I looked at all the different connections, made sure nothing was burnt out, any problems between the card, the riser, or the board, uh, the power supply, everything looks good. So I just want to do a fresh install of Hive OS. Now, on my USB stick, when you install Hive on it, it has uh, three separate partitions. So I'm going to show you how to remove all the partitions, download Hive, use Etcher to reflash the drive, and I'm gonna show you how to use, take your rig config file from Hive OS and put it on the flash drive. So when you boot up for the first time, you don't have to put in your hash ID, your rig ID, or anything else. It's already preset, you plug it back in, and you turn your rig on, you're back up and running. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple, couple steps to it. I'm gonna show you how to do all of them. Let's hop over and take a look. All right, so this is our disk partition tool. All you do to bring this up in the window search is type in disk part, all one word, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, hit enter, you'll open up this window. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, list all the different disks or drives that we have in this computer. So we're just gonna type in uh, list disk, and here they are. Now, I've disconnected any other hard drives, uh, or should I say any USBs or anything else I had on here. It makes it a little bit easier. You don't wanna make a mistake. Anything we do really from this point forward, you're gonna be wiping out all the data on that device, whatever it might be. So there is no way to recover that. Be careful, um, be mindful, and make sure you're choosing the right one. For me, I can see that this is my hard drive in disk zero, and disk one is my USB flash drive. So we're gonna be choosing disk one. Excuse me. So we're going to type in select disk one and hit enter. And now disk one is the one that we're going to be working on. So it is now selected. Uh, from here, we're just going to type in clean and hit enter. And it's done. That's all you have to do. That wiped out all the partitions. Now we're going to have to go ahead and set a volume for this, and then we want to go ahead and format this drive. So now that we have that done, all the partitions are gone. And if we open up this again, you can see that it's all done, except it doesn't show the bar or anything to show how much space is in there. What we want to do here is we want to go ahead and set the volume. So for here, we're going to go to our disk management. I'll bring that over. And as you can see, this is it right here. You can see the black bar. That means there's no volume set. We're going to right click on it and new simple volume. I'm just going to click next, leave it as default, click next. Again, leave it as default, click next. In here, I'm going to choose FAT32. And in here, you can go ahead and call it whatever you want to call it. This is for my 3060 Ti rig, so I could put that in there. Um, whatever you want to do, you go ahead and do that. Click next and finish. This will take just a second. It's going to open up the flash drive and say that it's done. So now it's showing that it's empty and it's ready. So we can close that and give this a second. We'll go ahead and close that. Now when we open this up, you can see that it's set. I'm going to go ahead and right click on it, go to format, make sure everything looks good. Again, the volume, whatever you want to call it, uh, FAT32, click start. If your drive is bigger than mine, it may take longer. So just be patient with it. As you can see, it goes super fast. But we are set and it is ready to go now. Of course, any of the uh, um, any of the websites that I use or any of the commands that I'm using, I'll have all of that in the description below so you can follow along with that as well. Um, but now we're going to want to go ahead to the website and download Hive. As a matter of fact, probably could have done this in the beginning because it's going to take a couple minutes. Hive for me takes about three to four minutes to download. I'm just going to go here and click install and then scroll down. Oh, I was already on the page. We click there and then click on, go for the GPU and click on zip and that'll start that download. The other one we're going to want to do is Etcher and I'm going to have this one also link in the description for this one and we'll click on download Etcher. Uh, there's two versions for Windows. You can do the installer, which will install the program on your computer or the portable version. Uh, for this one, I'm going to be using the portable version. It's the one I downloaded. So you just click download and download whichever one you want. If you're going to download this one, install it. This one just puts an icon on your desktop or wherever you download it to, and you can just start it up. So now that we have both of those downloaded, because I've already done that, we'll go ahead and bring over Etcher and start that one up. 
Now, Etcher, once we get this going, it does say it takes anywhere from, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes to do. For me, it takes about 15 minutes. So just, again, bear with it for however long it takes for yours. We're going to choose Select from File. Uh, I've got my Hive image right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Just search for wherever you have yours uh, uh, downloaded. And now we're going to select the target. Uh, as you can see, it's going to show you the device that it most likely believes you want to uh, put this on. If you had multiple uh, USBs on here, it may ask you about them as well. Uh, mine is right here, so I'm good there. I'm going to click Select, and I'm going to click Flash. I'm going to click Yes over here, and we're going to let that get going. Like I said, could take 30 minutes, could take 20 minutes, could take 15 minutes, could take a little less. Um, looks like this is going to take anywhere from eight to nine, 10 minutes to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video right now. And when it's done, I'll be back and I'll show you how to remove that RID config file over so you won't have anything else to do. Super simple, I'm gonna show you that next. I'll be right back. All right, so it went through. Everything took about 10 minutes to run. After it finishes installing it, it does wanna do a file validation. It takes about three to four minutes to run. Overall, the 10 minute installation and my validation took me about 14, 15 minutes in total. Depending on your computer, depending on your flash drive and everything in between, could go faster, could go slower, but it took me about 15 minutes about to do. So now that it's open, it'll pop this up. You just click cancel on all of these windows and it'll bring you back to here. What you wanna do is just close this, take your flash drive out, put it back in one time. Again, it'll bring up all these windows, just hit cancel on everything and you should be set. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to open up your uh, Hive OS and you want to go to the rig that you want to work on. Uh, I'm working on my uh, 3060 Ti rig, which I still have named the Million Dollar Ravencoin Mining Rig, um, but this is it right here. All you're going to do is go to Settings and I'm going to have all this grayed out because you don't need to know all my numbers. But what you're looking for is the rig.conf. That's what you want. So you're going to click on that and you're going to download that. You'll download it to your download folder or wherever you have your set your downloads to. It'll download it. That's all you have to do. We can go ahead and close that. And now we've got that file. What it's doing is that it's taking all of the IDs that you have in your, in your uh, uh, rig to begin with, your password and everything. And it's just taking all of those files and bringing them out into one. So you can just simply move that into your USB drive. You don't have to fire up this thing for the first time and enter in all that information on your rig itself. It'll all be saved right here. All you're going to do is just drag and drop it in like that. Close it and you should be set to go. I'm going to take this. I'm going to stick it in my rig. We're going to fire it up. We'll see where we're at. I'll bring it back up in just a second. All right. Well, it looks like it's running really smooth right now. It booted straight up. All the fan speeds, all the temperatures, all the hash rates are showing up for all the cards. Before, some of the temperatures weren't showing, some of the fan speeds weren't showing, some of the hash rates weren't showing. It was all over the place, um, and now everything looks like it's reporting in. There is one other final step you can do. You can click right here, and you can choose to do the update to the, uh, the software that you just downloaded from Hive. Obviously, tons of updates to be done, so we can do that next. But ultimately, it is working. I appreciate y'all watching. If you want to subscribe to the channel, button's right over there. If you watch any of my other videos, I'll have one right up over there. Thanks for checking in. I'll see y'all next time.